Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. A stone cemetery has been found roughly 300 metres northeast of the Pyramid of King Senusur I, the Egyptian Antiquities Ministry has announced today. It was discovered by an Egyptian archaeological excavation mission working in Lisht, the site of the Middle Kingdom's royal and elite burials. Adel Akasha, director of the Central Department of Antiquities of Cairo and Giza, reported that the cemetery is carved on the rocky edge of a mountain and consists of two areas. The first is an open courtyard leading to a vaulted corridor with a number of hieroglyphic inscriptions and leading to a hall. On its western side is a small chamber decorated with inscriptions. The Department of Fine Restoration is now in the process of strengthening and repairing that part of the cemetery, according to Akasha. The second part consists of a three metre deep well whose western inner side has a passage leading to a burial chamber, whose southern wall has an entrance to another chamber. Each chamber has a limestone sarcophagus with unique inscriptions. The south side of the well has an entrance to other chambers that have yet to be entered into. Yasser Hassan Abdel Fattah, General Director of Dashur and Lisht Antiquities, said, The owner of this cemetery is still unknown, for there are no inscriptions referring to his identity. And he noted that further studies will enable the mission to reveal more information about him. The village of Lisht in Giza is known for being the site of the Middle Kingdom royal and elite burials and includes two pyramids which are attributed to the ancient kings Senyusur I and Amenemhat I. Akasha said that the excavation works being carried out in Lisht are done in line with the ministry's excavation plan for promising archaeological sites. In other recent news from Egypt, archaeologists have unearthed one of the oldest known villages in the Nile Delta, which predates the dynastic era of Egyptian history by thousands of years. A joint Egyptian and French mission uncovered several storage silos containing large quantities of animal and plant remains, as well as pottery and stone tools. The ministry said that the find indicated humans were living in the fertile Tel Al Samara as early as the 5th millennium BC. Nadia Kedda, a ministry official responsible for Egyptian, Greek and Roman antiquities, said, Analyzing the biological material that has been discovered will present us with a clearer view of the first communities that settled in the Delta, and the origins of agriculture and farming in Egypt. The vast amounts of new ancient Egyptian finds is by no way a coincidence. The country has been pushing to publicise its archaeological discoveries since the Arab Spring destabilised the country back in 2011, drastically reducing revenues from tourism. And the recent deaths of two British holidaymakers in Egypt hasn't encouraged people to choose Egypt as their destination. Earlier this year, scientists discovered an enormous void inside the Great Pyramid of Giza, and we are still waiting to find out if and when this void will be allowed to be investigated. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.